So the question is, why do I go to raves? I suppose it's like one person being alone in a forest. You're surrounded by thousands of living things. You don't really know them or recognize them, but they're all around you giving you energy. You may feel alone, but you're never alone. That's the number one thing. Number two thing, is always a happy place. Every time I watch videos, everybody was smiling, so happy. Doesn't matter drugs or alcohol, they're still so happy to be there. And I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be the one smiling, laughing too. So that's why I choose to do this. Number three is a little crazy. So 2016, I went to Desert Trip. It's a rock and roll concert in Coachella Fields. There's a lot of old kind of rock and roll, Rolling Stones, Neil Young, Paul McCartney, Roger Waters, The Who, and Bob Dylan, right? So kind of older crowd, but it was pretty awesome. Anyways, Neil Young comes on, who's like super rock and roll to me, and we're standing up, myself and my uncle, who's 70 years old, we're just kind of standing there, not really dancing, just standing up because everybody else was. <clears throat> and I hear in the background, kind of quiet because it's a concert, but you hear this like slow, hey, come on, sit down. And I didn't even want to look, right? Because I think, hey, it's not me. I know I'm a tall guy, but it's not me. Hey, come on, sit down. Sit down, we can't see. Sit down already. This is like five or six times, and I finally kind of turned around didn't see anybody no one was making any hand gestures no one was doing anything so I just kept standing there 30 seconds later security guard comes over tells my uncle hey you got to sit down something from I hear a murmuring and I didn't want to sit down so I just kept standing there and finally the security guard kind of walked over and hit me on the shoulder like hey bro you got to sit down back there there's some people and they can't see and I turn around and look and no one's you know making any kind of sh motions or anything and I'm thinking to myself, like, I have to sit down at a rock and roll concert. I paid 400 and some dollars a ticket. I paid more than the people behind me because they're behind me. But I have to sit down. And I can't even hardly see because there's people in front of me. So, like, and we're way in the back. I'm like, what are we going to see? The guy's this big on the stage. And it's a music concert. So I got told to sit down. And I did. I sat down for, like, 25 minutes. And I was just so mad. And I'm thinking, like, the whole time... How long do I have to stay like this? How long is it okay for me to not be myself, right? Because myself is, like, I just want to stand up, be comfortable. Everybody else is type thing. But now I'm furious and I'm sitting down waiting until I think it's okay to get up, right? I never, ever want to go through that again. And when I went to raves, <laughs> the last thing someone's going to do is tell you to sit down. It may not have been that big to some people, but it was pretty important to me. Anyways, I'd say the next thing that's important to me is all the music genres, right? Like rock and roll, you're pretty much, you have your genres there, alternative and rock and grunge and heavy metal and speed rock. And, da, da, da. and then you have, even in electronic music, you have dubstep, techno, hard house, bass, house, you know, uh, tech, trance this that there's a bunch of different genres but I never really was introduced to them on the outside before so going to these different festivals you get into different positions and places where you start hearing these artists and DJs that you never heard before didn't plan on hearing them but now I'm here and you're like wow I really like that that's that's good music I got introduced to some new music today that I haven't heard before I've never even heard this genre before but I like it I want to hear more and this is the most important, is you get to be yourself. And I know people like to dress up, or do this or that, or look a certain way, or act a certain way, but really it's about being yourself. You can wear whatever you want. People are going to compliment you. People are going to give you hugs, handshakes, fist bumps, whatever. It's pretty awesome. And I think the number one thing, being myself, is I want to go hard, right? And it sounds weird. But when I exercise or work out, I want to go hard. I want to be the number one guy. When I go to these raves, when I was there, I saw people in the front row of like this 
park and raid. We had to go in and park and we have a small little cutout area and you can dance in there. And then these people had a small little cutout area and you could dance in there. And it was because of COVID and you couldn't be too close to people, but we still went to the raid. But in the distance, I see these people dancing. Here's a little clip right now. It was almost the last song and they're still like going dancing so hard more than anybody else in that place and more than way more than me I didn't even know what I was doing it was only my first or second rave but I saw them and I was like wow they go hard even at the last song those people right there and I thought about them. so then 2023 I went to probably six five to six different music festivals raves I think I made my rounds in California Las Vegas I went to EDC, Escape, Beyond, Nocturnal, Hard Summer, Countdown, uh, maybe something else I missed. Anyways, I kind of went to them all around here anyway. And I think the biggest thing that I remember, the biggest compliment, best thing about all of those, I went to Hard Summer. I went by myself and it was kind of an adventure there going by yourself because you don't really know what's going on. Never been there before. I don't have any friends there to kind of talk to or say hey that looks cool or what do you think that is where do you think this is it's all on you right so you get to kind of choose and do your own thing so i was really intrigued by that having a great time second night i'm a yellow claw i make my way to the front row right first time seeing yellow claw that close usually way in the back it's very busy yellow claw is popular so i'm in the front row and i'm like yes this is it right i'm not gonna let this spot be wasted, right? And I look around me, those people are headbangers. Those people, headbangers. I'm around, I'm a rail breaker, I'm a headbanger, we're gonna get it. And we started going off, right? The music's going and I'm doing my thing and just being me, I'm not trying to be anybody else. Having a great time and that was that. So the concert's over, I'm leaving and from the front row to where I exit, it's a good like five minute walk, right? You gotta walk through the crowd. Then there was a little area where I start going up some steps or something and there was an exit out of the Coliseum. And I'm walking over there and there was some girl kind of standing there by the steps and she's just like, hey, you know, I like your hat. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, thanks. You know, appreciate it. And then she said, hey, you know, I saw you out there in the front row going hard, so hard. Did you have fun? And I was like, <gasps> wow like yes i did i went hard and i had so much fun like that was the best ever compliment that anybody could have gave me some random stranger in the middle of thousands of people and they saw me doing exactly what i wanted to do so i thought that was awesome and i wish i wish i could tell that person how much it meant to me but they'll never probably know i tried my best at that moment to say what i wanted to say but that was that. So anyways, that's why I like raves. There's a billion different stories. There's a billion different people. But I keep seeing the same faces. You know, the guy I met in Hard Summer, the train. And then I saw you again in the train. And then I saw you at Escape. It's like, I'm going to see you again with that EDC shirt on. EDC, I hope. Jacqueline, I've seen you a couple times, different raves. Nico. Try to thank all my rave fam. Chris, Joe, Nick, Shane. Then there's a couple other guys. I don't know their names. There was a guy in a wheelchair at Escape last year. Or this year, 2023. You had Jordan Concords on. And I complimented you on your Concords. You were a very cool dude. You are super happy to be there. And I remember you. The other one I'll shout out real quick. There was a girl in Cascade. You passed out in the middle of Cascade or something and your friends drug you out to the walkway and they had you there against the wall kind of taking care of you. And I was right there the whole Cascade, maybe for an hour. And I got to see you going from completely knocked out, everybody was worried about you, to kind of smiling and laughing with your friends, right? But I gave your friends this candy. And it said, I love Cascade on it. And I gave it to your friend and I told him to give it to you because you were on the ground the whole time. 
you went so hard in the beginning of Cascade, you missed the rest of Cascade. So I thought you deserve that candy the most, and I think about you a lot. I hope you're doing awesome. I hope to see you sometime. Probably never will, but that's another reason I like raves. It's just a bunch of million different random reasons. I highly recommend trying to go to one. If you're not too old, if you're not out of your place, you don't have to know the genres, you don't have to have cool clothes to show up and see what happens. All right, later y'all.